What's up my fellow YouTubers? Today I want to share with you a little uh, experience that I ran into on this uh, 2008 E350 Mercedes-Benz. Um, it had a uh, situation where the air conditioner would not cool at all. You turn on the air conditioner, I think you're getting like 70 degree air out of it. So uh, I had hooked up my uh, manifold gauge set to it and the readings that I had was on the low side. I had like 70 PSI and the high side had about 190 or so PSI. And so, you know, I started to look at everything and I figured it was the thermal expansion valve that was giving me the problems. So of course I went out and bought an, ex an expansion valve, installed it, uh, refilled it with Freon. And to my surprise, when I turned the air conditioner back on, same problem. I had the same PSI on the low side and no cooling. So I did a little research on this car and I come to find out that there's a bulletin on these that uh, the low side hose suction side at the compressor is known for collapsing internally. So that one really just took me by surprise. So I pulled the hose off and I cut the hose open, which I'm going to show you. And yes, the hose was collapsed inside. So uh, I ended up uh, buying another hose. There's an updated hose for this. And I'll show you uh, later in the video the models affected, which is quite a few. Um, and I'll also show you the hose that I replaced. I'm not actually going to show you how to replace the hose because it's pretty simple. It's only held on there by one Allen bolt at the compressor. And then there's a uh, coupler up at the top where it attaches to another hose that goes to the thermal expansion valve. So I'm going to show you the hose right now to see uh, what I ran into. Okay, this is the air conditioning hose. This end here goes to the compressor. This is where that bolt will go in. And this other end here goes to another hose, which then goes to the thermal expansion valve. And for those of you who don't know what a thermal expansion valve is, what this does, it regulates Freon flow through the evaporator. And this is the hose. The, the cut open and you can see it collapsed internally and that's what's wrong with this AC system. So it's very deceptive because you would never know if you look at this hose externally that there's any problems with it. So here's the list of vehicles affected on the left side there and these uh, this is the readings that I had before the repair. And this next video, what I want to point out here, see that black coupler? Do not break it. It's part of the other hose. Don't ask me how I know this, but yeah, I ended up replacing the hose. I ended up breaking it. And this is uh, the thermal expansion valve location right there on the firewall. And this is located underneath the uh, windshield wiper motor assembly. So here I'm refilling the system. This is some footage that I did take. Once again, that's the hose in question. And these are the readings that I ended up with after the repair. 35 on the low side, about 180 in the high side, which is beautiful. And inside the vehicle, you end up with nice, cool air. We are at 42 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. So anyways, all you Mercedes owners out there, watch out for this hose. I hope you found this video helpful. And good luck, everyone.